Hello friends welcome back. Today I'm gonna recap the latest movie Call Me Chihiro. This story is about a happy-go-lucky girl Chihiro. She can do anything to be happy. A schoolgirl Kuniko is taking her photo. But Chihiro is not aware of this. Chihiro works at a small beachside bento shop, Nakanoko Bento, and becomes a popular figure in the city. All the boys have a crush on her. Two people run this shop, the owner Bito and his assistant Nagai. She says to Chihiro that she handles male customers well as they'd expect from a former sex worker. Everyone knows about Chihiro's old profession. Kuniko keeps looking at Chihiro's photo. During lectures at school, she thinks how can she always be happy. Chihiro is on her way home after finishing work. Some kids are troubling an old man. Chihiro helps this old man and feeds him. She takes him to her house and gives him a bath. The old man is overjoyed by Chihiro's hospitality. But that man could not say anything. After taking a bath and having food, he goes away after saying thank you to her. Kuniko is having dinner with her family. Her father is going to make her join pottery classes in this summer break. Kuniko simply says yes. She doesn't get along much with her family. She feels completely lonely. That's why she looks at those people who are happy. Whenever she watches Chihiro happy, she takes pictures of her. Kuniko learns from her classmates that Chihiro works at a bento shop. So she goes there to meet her. Chihiro asks her that today you are not going to take my photo. Kuniko shyly runs away from there. She hangs out with an old, homeless man, and shares several meals with him. This old man often visit a place. One day when Chihiro goes to meet the old man, he is not found. But that old man is lying at one place. He is dead due to ill health. Chihiro buries and cremates this old man. Basil, a friend of hers, who works as a singer and dancer at a pub, visits her. She tells about the scam done by her business partner. Chihiro encourages her and asks to come whenever she feel alone. She is reading a book when a boy Makoto comes. He mischief and also pricks her hand with a sharp object. But Chihiro does not reprimand him even after she gets hurt. Rather, she buys him food from her shop. Actually Makoto is raised by a single working woman. She is unable to give much time to Makoto, so he feels lonely. Now they become good friends. When Chihiro stands on the shore, Kuniko is taking her pictures. She comes beside her and stands with her in the water. Kuniko is very happy even though she has spent only a little time with her. After coming home, she remembers the time she spent with Chihiro. The bento shop where Chihiro works is owned by T, who is blind. Chihiro spends some of her time with her in the hospital. She asks her, when will you return to the shop? Chihiro is becoming the support of those people who feel lonely, those who have been rejected by their family members, or do not get along much with their family members. She goes to the apartment, where the old man used to visit often. She meet Bechen, another schoolgirl, who hides away from her family, and spends her time reading books and manga. Now a little friendship develops between them. Chihiro introduces Kuniko to Makoto the next day. In this way friendship is formed between these two. Kuniko tells her about her family, her mother was earlier a chef but now she has left that profession. How she faces issues with her authoritarian father and feels lonely even though she has a family. Chihiro tells that one of her clients said that he thought we were all aliens in human bodies. Actually, we all come from different planets. It's no wonder we can't understand each other. Not even families, friends and lovers. She tells that's the reason why we cannot be happy. Because we do not understand each other. She is actually doing the same thing. She understands people like her and helps them. Like she helped Kuniko, Makoto, the old man who died and Bechin. She is helping everyone, supporting them. Giving a treasure map, she tells Kuniko to visit this place. Kuniko wonders about the treasure, so she goes to that place. She reaches the same apartment. Bechin also in the same school but she attends less. In this way friendship develops between these two. Chihiro gets a phone call from her brother who informs her of their mother's death. She doesn't react to the news, and tells him she'll pass on attending the funeral. Her relationship with her brother seems distant. On the way home at night, she finds a dead bird. She also cremates this bird. A flashback shows a young Chihiro sitting outside on some steps, eating messy sushi rolls made by her own hand. A woman in a glitzy dress watches her nearby, approaches and then asks for a piece of sushi. She tells the young girl it tastes good. They walk together and before parting ways, the woman introduces herself as Chihiro. Since then she decides that she will make feel people happy by becoming Chihiro. Her real name is Aya. Chihiro goes to the Izakaya, where a man is quarreling with another man. Chihiro ignores him and orders beer. She talks with that man to make him feel good. He tells about his dad that he never got along with him. When he sees people who are like his father, bullying people weaker than them. So he gets very angry. Chihiro spends the night with this man. 
she is filling happiness in the lives of many people. Bechin and Kuniko also now become good friends. Makoto's mother Hitomi visits Chihiro. She wants her to stop associating with his son. Chihiro goes around feeding him. Now her neighbor thinks she doesn't look after him properly. And now he gave her flowers. She thinks it would be Chihiro's idea. Chihiro explains that her son is very nice. Even he likes her food. She should spend time with her son. Hitomi realizes her mistake. Utsumi, the former boss of Chihiro, who now has an aquarium shop. Basil has started working there. By showing a fish, he tells that this fish is sleeping because it has gone near the surface. The next day, Chihiro visits the real Chihiro's grave with Atsumi. She sees a small ant suffering. She helps him and offers flowers to this grave. She says to Atsumi that we all come from different planets, so she feels that maybe he will be her father. However, he decides to go along with it, as weird as it is. One night, Kuniko gets a call. Makoto tells that he has lost his house key and he is starving. She brings him food by then Hitomi also arrives. She cooks food for both of them. Kuniko still has issues with her parents, but she is finally able to enjoy a hot meal at Makoto's house, so much so that it brings her to tears. Atsumi later reveals that when Chihiro came to the massage parlor, she looked like an ordinary woman, but her shoes were filthy and worn out. If she hadn't stepped in through that door on that day, she might not have been alive in the present. When Atsumi asks her what name she wants to use, she says Chihiro, and in the same way she also worked at the bento shop, when she went there to ask for a job. After asking her a few questions he left her alone for a few minutes, giving her a bento box to eat in the meantime. The way she relished the entire contents of the box was a sure sign of her being a good person, so he gives her the job. The day before T's discharge from the hospital, Chihiro sneaks her out and takes her for a drive. They sit in the car and listen to the rain, a sound that T finds thrilling. Chihiro recalls meeting T. The night she quit her job and arrived in town, it had been raining, and T had given her free chicken with her bento. She says at that moment, she knew T was from the same planet as her, only the second person to make her feel that way. After the original Chihiro, Chihiro also tells T about her mother's death and how she didn't feel anything. She says she might have been different. If she was born as T's daughter, T says she's wonderful just as she is, and gives her a tight hug. The next night, all of the people Chihiro's met come together for an outdoor dinner to celebrate T's return from the hospital. The bento owner, T, Nagai, Kuniko, Bechin, Naktoto, Basil and Natsumi are all there. Everybody engages in upbeat conversation. The mood is warm and companionable. Suddenly, Chihiro leaves the party and walks down the streets on her own. T, who realizes, gives her a call and tells her she felt her leave. She knows Chihiro is planning to go somewhere far away again, but advises her not to. She tells her to grow roots in this town, as no matter how far she goes, she will still hold on to her loneliness. Chihiro doesn't respond, but tears up when they finish the call. The next scene shows us a sign advertising, an open position for a part-timer at the bento shop. The shop owner and T peel acorns together. The final scene of the film shows Chihiro in a different town, working as a farmhand. The farmer tells her she's good with animals, and asks where she worked before this. She replies that she worked at a bento shop. Now she has stopped calling herself a sex worker. Now with her new identity, she will live her life by staying here. Or it could also be that the person who is here, who knows, he already feels lonely. Chihiro must have decided to give happiness to this man too. With this this story ends. We can learn from Chihiro's character how we can help others. Chihiro herself used to feel lonely, but still she did not back down in helping others. All the people who came in Chihiro's life were lonely, but at the end of the story, everyone seemed happy. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.